Well, hello there. Welcome back to Tactical Accountants. It has been a long, long time since we put any new content on the channel. For that, I want to apologize. I don't have a good excuse for why, other than the crippling addiction I developed to sim racing, eye racing in particular. Despite the fact that we've put up all of two or three videos the entire year, for some reason we keep getting new subscribers, new commenters, new viewers. So on my behalf and my fellow tactical accountants, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody out there. Uh, it means a lot to all the subs, all the commenters, all the viewers, to all the friends we've made along the way uh, from more reputable channels like Hop or Navy Man. It means a lot that you guys take us seriously Going into 2023, I have some ideas in mind for more content, so hopefully that happens and I need to get better about replying to all the comments. I try to read them all, I don't always reply. But thank you guys for engaging with our channel. A little belated now, but I hope you had a Merry Christmas or whatever you happen to celebrate. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. And going into 2023, have a happy and healthy new year. Don't get too crazy ringing it in. And hopefully we have more stuff for you next year. The purpose of the video today is going to be really how the channel got started before we got into mediocre optic reviews and comparisons that people take seriously for some reason. And we do appreciate that. Uh, it was really more just my buddy and I shooting our own guns and trying to get cool footage of it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to step aside to show our beautiful 600 yard range. All the way down there, we have a target painted. We are going to be engaging it with my newest rifle, the Ruger American Ranch, which sounds a lot like a condiment you would buy at the grocery store, but I digress. This is the Ruger American Ranch in 762 by 39 Kami caliber. On top, we have, I believe, as of the time of my purchase, probably the cheapest way to get into a first focal plane optic with a traditional mill Christmas tree type reticle that I'm partial to after competing in PRS, again, at this 600 yard range. This is the Athlon Talos 4 to 14. Uh, I picked it up from Jeff Bezos for around $190, believe it or not. Pretty solid optics so far. Uh, the turrets don't even feel the worst. It has an illuminated reticle. And again, it's a mill mill for its focal plane. So we're going to see how it does out at 600 through this rifle. The rifle is factory. I took the bolt out because we've got it pointed sideways here. So I don't want to get yelled at by a range safety officer. It's factory, other than this cheapo bipod I threw on just to give it every advantage today. I did also lighten the trigger a little bit. Uh, I put in a spring from M Carbo. It's around like $11 and it dropped the pull weight from over four pounds in my example to around two and a half. So not the worst trigger, has a little bit of creep, but not too bad. I also threw on this flash hider that was factory on my M&P 10 just to put something on there. The caliber, 762 by 39 is an intermediate caliber, as you're no doubt aware. It's certainly intermediate in terms of the distance it can go with any degree of consistency or accuracy. We're shooting at 600 yards. This round is gonna go subsonic at around 450 or 500, meaning for the last 100 yards of travel, it's gonna destabilize quite a bit. In terms of elevation, uh, I confirmed this beforehand. I'm having to dial eight mils of elevation to get to the target, which translates to around 15 feet. There's around 15 feet of drop for this round to reach 600 yards. Now, if that doesn't sound like that much, think of it this way. We could stack not one, but two Brittany grinders halfway between us and the target. 
and this round would easily clear them on its way down there. So that's pretty impressive. Other than that, our range of choice here can be really inconsistent in terms of wind. It's pretty chilly today, around 30 degrees, hence my tactical face mask. Maybe it's just because you're ugly. We're gonna be shooting from this factory Ruger five round magazine that came with the rifle, as well as this 20 round uh, mini 30 mag. So far, I haven't been blown away with the smoothness of the bolt using either of these magazines, especially this one when there's more than 10 rounds loaded. So we'll see how that goes on camera. I think that's all the excuses I have for today. I'm gonna be shooting Wolf 124 grain military classic and Wolf 123 grain polyformance, as cheap as it gets. Even though this is a Soviet caliber, we're shooting Russian ammo and we're using a scope made in Red China. This is an American rifle. And here on this channel, in this country, we highly approve of the work being done by Ukrainian snipers these days. And that's why we've painted our target bright red. So as the sun dips towards the horizon, I see the targets already in the shadow. Hopefully we can pick it up with our long distance camera. Let's see how it does. Okay, I was going kind of quick there as the sun reaches the horizon. I think that last one was an impact, definitely a few impacts there. Not my finest shooting, guys. Uh, kind of getting cold out here, been out here a while. Not to make excuses, even though I've done that already. Um, you could see the bolt, the bolt is really not the smoothest. That was actually smoother than some of the mags I've, I've had. Uh, going through this, but even so You can see using this mag it even leaves this line that you can see on some of the the cases I guess as it's interfacing with the feed lifts here Maybe I'll reach out to Ruger or look into other options I think you can run 762 by 39 AR mags in this thing with a different mag well but uh, That's all for another video as expected, 7.62x39 doesn't do that well at 600, but you can get some hits if you do your part, read the wind right. I think I had a few hits there in succession, so I'll take that. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So once again, have a happy new year, and uh, we'll see you on the channel going forward. Take care.